His life that made your love never end. We thank you for the gift of your abiding presence and promise in the days to come. And above all else, we thank you for your servant Jesus, who knew our grief, who died and rose again for our sake, who lives and prays for us. As now we offer Jackie back into your arms, comfort us in our loneliness, strengthen us in our weakness, and give us courage to face the future, I'm afraid. Draw those of us who remain in this life closer to one another, closer to you, and give to us that peace and joy, which is eternal life. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Ruth and I found a poem called The Next Place. It's there in your bulletin. It's a bit long, but it's so beautiful. We wanted to read it here before we sing our last hymn. The next place that I go will be as peaceful and familiar as a sleepy summer Sunday in a sweet, untroubled mind. And yet it won't be anything like the place I've ever been or seen or even dreamed of in a place I leave behind. I won't know where I'm going and I won't know where I've been as I tumble through the always and look back toward the wind. I'll glide beyond the rainbows, I'll drift above the sky. I'll fly into the wonder without ever wondering why. I won't remember getting there, somehow I'll just arrive. But I'll know that I belong there and will feel much more alive than I have ever felt before. I will be absolutely free of the things that I held on to that were holding on to me. The next place that I go will be so quiet and so still that the whispered song of sweet belonging will rise up to fill the listening sky with joyful silence. And the unheard harmonies of music made by no one playing like a hush of harmonies. There'll be no room for darkness in that place of living light where an ever-dawning morning pushes back the dying night. The very air will fill with brilliance as the brightly shining sun and the moon and half a million stars are married into the next place that I go won't really be a place at all. There won't be any seasons, winter, summer, spring, or fall, nor a Monday, nor a Friday, nor December, nor July. And the seconds will be standing still while hours hurry by. I will finally be perfect. I will be without a flaw. I will never make one more mistake or break the smallest law. And the me that was impatient or angry or unkind will simply be a memory, the me I left behind. I will travel empty-handed. There is not a single thing I have collected in my life that I would ever want to bring, except the love of those who loved me and the warmth of those who cared, the happiness and memories and magic that we shared. Though I will know the joy of solitude, I'll never be alone. I'll be embraced by all the family and friends I've ever known. Although I might not see their faces, all their hearts will beat as one, and the circle of our spirits will shine brighter than the sun. I will cherish all the friendship I was fortunate to find, all the love and all the laughter in the place I leave behind. All these good things will go with me. They will make my spirit glow, and that light will shine forever in the next place that and it's with that beauty and that joy and that hymn of promise that we're going to stand and sing together hymn number 707, 707, the hymn of promise. Let's stand and sing together.
Jackie's life has um, been set up for us in Wesley Hall. It's just down this hallway and to the right, and then you'll find, you'll find your way that way. The family would love to greet you from that place, so they will um, be dismissed first as we finish, and then greet you there in Wesley Hall. So as a huge fan of Barnes, well, he always said, keep a song in your heart until we meet again. So may the peace and the joy of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and forever.